Holly and welcome to my bookshelf tour. So I can't make any promises about the quality of this because my tripod is only so big um, <laughs> but I will try. I'm gonna do a quick overview of like all of my books. I will name all of the books but I'm not gonna pull them out um, honestly just because I don't have like the time or the energy to edit that. <laughs> um, I am in the process of trying to rearrange my bookshelves also, it is the holidays and my apartment is crazy, so <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, the majority of my books right now are in what I call my library, which is actually the dining room of my apartment. There are some also in my living room. However, in the new year, my plan is to convert the dining room library setup into my living room and then have my existing living room turn into a library into a library because I want more space for my books. I'm also not 100% happy with how they are currently organized. I roughly organize by genre and then by author's last name um, but I've run into some issues with that. I do think these like white bookshelves I'm going to buy a couple more of those um, which will probably help a little but I'm thinking about just going back to just straight up alphabetical order, no concern about genre, which is how I used to organize my books. I don't know. If you have any suggestions or ideas or whatever, let me know. Um, but we are actually going to start to the right of what you're looking at right now. So let's move on over. So this is um, like an older bookcase that I have. And this is where I keep my contemporary YA as well as <clears throat> basically like my adult books and randomness. So let me see if I can set you up a little bit better. And so like I said I like to organize my books by genre and then author's last name. It roughly works <clears throat> on this shelf. <laughs> so actually I don't think you can see the first one but the first book is Just Listen by Sarah Dessen and then Wild Cards by Simone Alcalaz. <clears throat> then my two Huntley Fitzpatrick's bo Fitzpatrick books, My Life Next Door and What I Thought Was True, followed by do two Gail Foreman books, If I Stay and Where She Went. Next is Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins, Girl at Sea by Maureen Johnson, Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella, and then a bunch of Morgan Matson. So I have Second Chance Summer, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, and Since You've Been Gone. And then my very large <laughs> Katie McGarry collection. I own most of her books, but not all of them. So I have Pushing the Limits, uh, Crash Into You, which you can't quite see. There it is. Uh, Nowhere But Here, Walk the Edge, Long Way Home, Only a Breath Apart, and then Say You'll Remember Me. Then I have then I have When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandhya Menon, Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill, Say What You Will by Cammie McGovern, The Dairy Queen Tril Trilogy by Katherine Gilbert Murdoch, The Dairy Queen, <laughs> The Off Season, and Front and Center, um, and then My True Love Gave to Me, which is an anthology well, edited by Stephanie Perkins, so I keep it with my other Stephanie Perkins books. Um, so I have Anna and the French Kiss. And then Isla and the Happily Ever After, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and then I have This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith, and Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina May Safi. So then it starts like the random adult section, and I used to have a plant up here, but Murphy in the last couple months has gotten into the habit of knocking it down. It's also really dusty, don't judge me. So I have The Jane Austen Book Club by Karen Joy Fowler. Sorry, I'm just holding the camera now. Um, Outlander and Dragonfly and Amber, Amber by Diana Gabaldon, a lilac candle. Lilacs are the best scent in my opinion. <clears throat> uh, part of my Sophie Kinsella collection. So I have The Undomestic Goddess, Can You Keep a Secret, Remember Me, Wedding Night, Twenties Girl, and I've Got Your Number. Remember Me unfortunately has no cover because <laughs> I bought it when I didn't care about book covers. And then I have a little book or a little car. My grandfather used to make these, so I took this when he passed away. I actually took a couple. I gave one to my friend for her daughter. 
And then more Sophie Kinsella. So I have two copies of Confessions of a Shopaholic. This is my original edition, and then this was one I bought. I might have asked for it for Christmas. I think I, no, I think I asked for the movie for Christmas. I don't know why it's awful. Um, and somebody bought me the book instead, but that's fine. Shopaholic Takes Manhattan, Shopaholic Ties the Knot, Shopaholic and Sister, Shopaholic and Baby, and Mini Shopaholic. Again, Shopaholic and Baby, no cover. <laughs> And then I have a bunch of Zoom Zooms stacked up in a little vase. Next, I have Dedication by Emma McLaughlin and Nicola Krause. I read this in college. I actually think I read it, like, really early on in my booktube channel. Um, and they wrote The Nanny Diaries. That's probably, like, the book people most know them for. Uh, Me Before You by Joja Moyes, and then two Steve Barry books, The Romanoff Prophecy and The Amber Room. I don't read a ton of books like this. They're like action-y, thriller-y books, but if you have any recommendations, let me know. I've actually never read this, but I put it on the shelf anyways. It's called Ruska by Edward Rutherford. I think it's a fictionalized history of Russia. My brother bought it for me once. Um, I'm a big, like, Russia history buff. Um, you'll see more Russia books. <laughs> Um, a little elephant back there. I collect elephant things. Um, that is just a bin full of stuff. And then here I have Stardust by Neil Gaiman and The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. More elephants. And then I have a little figment from Disney World. He's so cute. Um, I have a bunch of playbills back here. Um, well, I guess really just like two. Um, and then I have two kind of nonfiction books. One is The Art of Tangled, and the other is Eat Like a Walt by Mary Carriker Smother Marcy Carriker Smothers. And then over here I have, um, let's see if I can get you down a little bit, more dust. Um, I have these. I'm part of my parents' Disney Vacation Club membership, so I get books, I get magazines. I have, um... I've collected various life magazines that are connected to Disney, so those are down there. And then this I got for Christmas last year, I think, and it's a collection of little short books about Walt Disney's Nine Old Men. They're like flip books and stuff, uh, so I have that. Next is this bad boy right here. I made this bookshelf with my dad, and then I was going to paint it all white, and I got lazy and only painted the shelves white. It's okay. <laughs> Um, so up here we have the Graceling Trilogy by Kristen Kishore, so Fire, Graceling, and Bitter Blue. And then, oh, these are like fantasy, sci-fi, and dystopian books. And then the Court of Fives Trilogy by Kate Elliott, Court of Fives, Poisoned Blade, and Buried Heart. I read these earlier this year. Um, the Eon Duology by Alison Goodman, Eon and Iona. Have I talked about these enough lately? The Books of Bairn by Shannon Hale, Goose Girl, and I'm Burning and River Secrets, and Forest Born. This is like an arc my brother got off of thrift books. Um, and I kind of need like an actual finished copy, but someday. Um, Ella Enchanted and the Two Princesses of Bamir, Bamir, Stolen Jose by Gail Carson Levine. My Trisha Levenseller books, Warrior of the Wild. Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss, Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, Crown of Coral, Coral and Pearl by Mara Rutherford, The Winner's Trilogy by Marie Rutkowski, The Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, and The Winner's Kiss, Crown Duel by Sherwood Smith. I love that book. Oh, Normally the Raven Boys is here and the Dream Thieves because those are the two I've read by Maggie Stiefvater. But I took out the Raven Boys for a picture and I haven't put it back yet. Sorry. <laughs> Next is a sci-fi shelf. So I have Alienated and Invaded by Melissa Landers. And then the um, Starbound Trilogy by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. These Broken Stars, The Shattered World, and Their Fractured Light. Followed by the Lunar Chronicles, Cress, or whoa. <laughs> Cinder, Scarlet, Crest, and Winter, and then I have Across the Universe by Beth Revis, and then I have a little sonic screwdriver hanging out there. And then we start the dystopian shelf, so I have the Selection series, so I have the Selection, the Elite, the One, and then I have Happily Ever After, which is like a novella bind-up. Um, I actually do think I bought the first additional book, but I ended up unhauling it because I didn't like it at all. Um, yeah. <laughs> the Hunger Games trilogy, so I have The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. 
The Revolution of Ivy. I don't have the second book to this. I thought I did. Or maybe that's the second book. I don't remember. <laughs> by Amy Engel. The Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu. Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. And then the um, Shatter Me Trilogy. What? I don't know what this is called. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me. And then I have Unite Me as well. But we have these dark or for darkness shows the stars and across the star swept sea by diana peter still don't know how to say her last name friend the um across or under the never sky trilogy so under the never sky through the ever night and into the still blue by veronica rossi the uglies trilogy by scott westerfeld uglies pretties and specials and then these are in like chronological order but not publication or really what I would say is the correct reading order but The Remedy, The Epidemic, The Program, and The Treatment by Suzanne Young and then I have a book about the Opryland Hotel in Nashville or wherever it is I don't remember um I got that when we stayed there when I was younger and then or actually my parents did and I like took it and then my graduating year book from college and now we go to the romance show which is gonna be so hard to film so this is broken down into contemporary, paranormal, and then historical romance. Okay, this is going to be fun. <laughs> so we have <laughs> Every Boy's Got One by Meg Cabot. Um, my mass market Serena Bowen books. I don't know, it's weird. I have more Serena books other places. I'm weird. So <laughs> Rookie Move, Hard Hitter, and Pipe Dreams. And then these, the Bobby Fay trilogy by Tony uh, McGee Causey. I think these books are hilarious. These are the alternative editions. You have When a Man Loves, I, these I think are in the right order. I don't know. <laughs> when a Man Loves a Woman, Girls Just Want to Have Guns, and Charmed and Dangerous. The original first one was called Bobby Fay's like very, 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 very bad day. <clears throat> My Alice Clayton editions or books. These are like a little out of order now because I've been doing pictures with them and I'm lazy. So, um, the unidentified redhead, the redhead plays her hand and the redhead revealed, um, rusty nailed, wall banger, cream of the crop, nuts, Roman crazy, last call, my tied up and screwdrivered and a Bollywood affair and the Bollywood bride by Sonali Dev, well met by Jen DeLuca, um, Flirting with Danger and Gentlemen or Billionaires Prefer Blondes by Suzanne Enoch. And I had a dog that like ate this book. That's how I came to own it. I had to pay $10 for the library to replace this. Even though it's like a $6 book, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm not bitter. Oh, and a touch of Minx by her as well. That's part of the same series. Um, True Confessions and True Love and Other Dating Disaster or Other Disasters by Rachel Gibson. And then continuing my Rachel Gibson collection. Run to you, Lola Carlisle reveals all. It must be love. I'm in no mood for love, tangled up in you, simply irresistible. See Jane's score, any man of mine, anything but trouble, what I love about you. And then I have On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves, The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, Something About You by Julie James, The Ones Who Got Away, The One You Can't Forget, and The One You Fight For by Ronnie Lauren, Fluffy by Julia Kent, Christmas Eve at Friday Harbor by Lisa Kleipas, and then Blue-Eyed Devil and Smooth Talking Stranger by her as well, Good Night Tweetheart by Teresa Medeiros, and Sundays at Tiffany's by James Patterson. And my last contemporary shelf, and that is First Lady, um, hold on, I have to look at this book because it's hidden. Um, Natural Born Charmer, Ain't She Sweet, um, dreams may come I think and then glitter baby uh it had to be you and nobody's baby but mine by Susan Elizabeth Phillips jewels of the sun tears of the moon and heart of the sea by Nora Roberts fun fact jewels of the sun was my first ever romance novel attachments by rainbow Rowell simply irresistible and still the one by Jill Chavez exclusively yours hot response and undeniably yours by Shannon Stacy the hating game by Sally Thorne and the Cocky Tales Cocky Collection by a bunch of authors uh, that were raising money for 
a really crappy situation. Okay, let's move on. So now into the romance section. So I have into the paranormal romance section. We have Bitten by Kelly Armstrong and then one weird Cressley Cole book. Um, but I'll do all the Cressley Cole ones first. So I have Dark Desires After Dusk, Kiss of a Demon King, Demon from the Dark, McCreeve, and A Hunger Like No Other. And then my Janine Frost collection. So that's in no real order at all. <laughs> Eternal Kiss of Darkness, Twice Tempted, One Grave at a Time, Up from the Grave, At Grave's End, Destined for an Early Grave, Bound by Flames, Into the Fire, and Shades of Wicked. And then... We start some Janine Showalter. Most of her books I own as ebooks, um, so this is pretty small, but I have The Darkest Surrender and The Darkest Seduction. And then I have uh, How to Marry a Millionaire Vampire and Vampire Mind by Carolyn Sparks. Uh, I think Vampire Mind might have actually been my first paranormal romance. And then starts my J.R. Ward collection. Let me move my little thing here. And we have Dark Lover, Lover Unbound, Lover Awakened, Lover Revealed, Lover Enshrined, Lover Mine, Lover Unleashed. And down here behind my dog, um, we have um, Lover Avenged, Lover at Last, and The King. And then this is the Black Dagger Brotherhood like companion book. Um, and then... Um, the two Percy Jackson's like Greek gods and Greek heroes like coffee table books and then behind this Merry Christmas sign we start the historical romance so we have a bunch of Jennifer Ashley books can I take this down I don't think so um the madness of Lord Ian Mackenzie the many sins of Lord Cameron sorry the camera really wants to focus on the sign <laughs> Lady Isabella's Scandalous Marriage, The Duke's Perfect Wife, Wife, The Seduction of Elliot McBride, The Wicked Deeds of Daniel Mackenzie, and then One Night for Love by Mary Balog, and then Love Letters from a Duke, Mad About the Duke, and If Wishes Were Earls by Elizabeth Boyle, Three Little Sins by Liz Carlisle, The Sin with a, To Sin with a Stranger in the Duke's Night of Sin by Catherine Caskey, and then my Tessa Dare collection, which I've been trying to grow this year. A Night to Surrender, A Week to Be Wicked, A Lady by Midnight, Any Duchess Will Do, Romancing the Duke, Say Yes to the Marquis, When a Scot Ties the Knot, The Duchess Deal, The Governess Game, and The Wallflower Wager. Uh, and then a bunch of Su Suzanne Enoch books. So The Devil Wears a Kilt, Rogue with a Brogue, Rules of an Engagement, The Lady's Guide to Improper Behavior. <sighs> London's Perfect Scoundrel, An Invitation to Sin, Sin and Sensibility, The Caring and Taming of a Rogue, then A Lady Awakened by Cecilia Grant, Karen Hawkins Books, A Most Dangerous Profession, Lady in Red, An Affair to Remember, Confessions of a Scoundrel, How to Entice an Enchantress, One Night in Scotland, uh, and then my Lorraine Heath collection starts, so The Duke and the Lady in Red, The Earl Takes All, Beyond Scandal and Desire. Let me move some more decorations. I got this brown paper packages. That one's really good too. Candle. When the Duke was Wicked, The Viscount and the Vixen, She Tempts the Duke, Lord of Temptation, Lord of Wicked Intentions, In Bed with the Devil, Between the Devil and Desire, Surrender to the Devil, Midnight Pleasures with a Scoundrel, Falling in Bed with a Duke, and that's the last Lauren Heath one on here. <laughs> um, My Shadow Warrior by Jen Holling. To Beguile a Beast, uh, Thief of Shadows and To Seduce a Sinner by Elizabeth Hoyt. Oh, Once More My Darling Rogue by Lauren Heath ended up over there. Who knows how that happened? <laughs> uh, and then Eloisa James starts When the Duke Returns, A Duke of Her Own, the, This Duchess of Mine, <clears throat> Pleasure for Pleasure, Your Wicked Ways. This one's like an affair before Christmas or something, I think. Yes, an affair before Christmas. A kiss at midnight when beauty tamed the beast. The Duke is mine. The ugly duchess once upon a tower. My American duchess and duchess by night. And then some Sabrina Jeffries books start. So we have A Dangerous Love, Dance of Seduction, Married to the Viscount, 
a notorious love after the abduction never seduce a scoundrel beware a scot's revenge truth about lord Storm stoneville a hellion in her bed how to woo a reluctant lady twas the night before princess christmas <laughs> To pleasure a prince in the princess bed and then behind this little elephant guy we have one night with a prince let sleeping rogues lie and then lisa Kleipas starts up and she is midnight angel worth any price someone to watch over me prince of dreams if then came you dreaming of you where dreams begin and a stranger in my arms and then i have more lisa Kleipas on the next shelf so we have a wallflower at christmas cold-hearted rate marrying winterborn devil in spring hello stranger devil's daughter again the magic secrets of a summer night it happened one autumn devil in winter and scandal in spring and i actually have my original covers of those up here as well mine till midnight seduce me at sunrise tempt me at twilight love me in the after or love in the afternoon oh and married by morning i think i skipped that straight somewhere i'll find you and because you're mine then down here we have a candle uh when harry met molly and cloudy with a chance of marriage by karen kramer the peril of pursuing a prince and the, uh the year of living scandalously highland er, in disguise the book of scandal and highland scandal by julia london and then some sarah mclean books 11 scandals to, to whoa <laughs> let's try that again 11 scandals to start to win a duke's heart no good duke goes unpunished and not a never judge a lady by her cover the rogue not taken a scot in the dark the day of the duchess get in the wallflower and brazen and the beast the devil wears plaid by teresa medeiros love with the perfect scoundrel by sophia nash and a K secret in her kiss by anna randall wallflower gone wild and the wicked wallflower by maya rodell Love is Blind by Lindsay Sands, Devil of the Highlands by Lindsay Sands, When Marrying a Scoundrel by Katherine Smith, and then my freaking huge Julia Quinn collection. So we have Splendid, Dancing at Midnight, Minx, Everything in the Moon, Brighter Than the Sun, How to Marry a Marquise, The Duke, The Lost Duke of Wyndham, To Catch an Heiress, A Night Like This, and Just Like Heaven, the sum of all kisses marrying or becoming miss bridgerton and then the viscount who loved me an offer from a gentleman romancing mr bridgerton to sir philip with love when he was wicked on the way to the wedding it's in his kiss what happened in london the secret diaries of miss miranda cheever 10 things i love about you and the bridgerton's happily ever after novella bind up and then i have three romance an anthologies that julia quinn's in all of them so that works <laughs> uh where's my hero the lady most likely and the lady most willing these are actually books i'm giving away right now through the end of 2019 on my bookmas videos along with some other giveaways you want to check them out some poetry cat books uh some disney books and my great grandma's uh cookbook along with some stuffed animals and now we move on to another shelf and then we come here and this starts kind of like my other fantasy more urban fantasy paranormally reads and a murphy cat I have the six seven ish mediator books by meg cabot so <clears throat> shadowland ninth key reunion darkest hour haunted twilight and then remembrance which is this one is more adult but i still shelve it with these ones See, again, this whole genre thing is hard. Uh, four Vampire Academy books by Rochelle Mead. So Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, and then Spirit Bound in the old edition. And then I have my Rick Riordan collection. So there's The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, The Blood of Olympus, and then the Percy Jackson books. Not in order because I wanted the hardcovers next to each other. I guess I could have just shelved them the other way in retrospect whatever it's fine and it's unspoken untold and unmade by sarah reese brennan and a murphy cat rolling around and things um paranormal seas supernaturally and endlessly by kirsten white sweet evil sweet peril sweet reckoning sweet temptation and soul in darkness by wendy higgins and then die for me by uh what's her name amy plum amy plum um and then 
starts my Jennifer L. Armentrout collection, which has outgrown the shelf. And this isn't even, these are just like the paranormally books. I don't know. <clears throat> so I have the Covenant series. So the first one is like a little novella. Sorry, Murphy is right here. <laughs> so Deity. And then Half Blood, or not Deity, what's it called? Um, Damon. So that Half Blood, Pure Deity, Apollyon, Elixir, another little novella, Sentinel. And then the Titan books, which are related to those. The Power, The Return, The Struggle, and The Prophecy. And then the Lux series, Obsidian, Onyx, Opal, Origin, and Opposition. And then Oblivion, which if I remember correctly is just Obsidian, but from Damon's perspective. <clears throat> and then The Darkest Star, which is the first book in the spin-off series to that. And then all the way on the bottom is a bunch of cords and a Murphy cat butt. Murphy, can we move? Thank you. Um, and this is my Cassandra Clare collection. So I have the Bane Chronicles up here. <laughs> um, the Infernal Devices. So Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. And then City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass. Yes, Murphy, I know. You are the star. City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire. And then I have the Shadow Hunters Codex. And then over here, <clears throat> this is the only part of this cart that I still keep books on. Um, I have my other Jennifer L. Armentrout books, so I have not in the correct order the Dark Element series, which are White Hot Kiss, Stone Cold Touch, and Every Last Breath. The Wicked Trilogy, Wicked, Brave, and Torn. And then Storm and Fury, the first book in the Harbinger series, which is a spinoff of the Dark Elements. And then I have my copy, one of my copies of The Secret Garden over here as well. I think because I was taking a picture of it. I don't know. That's not normally where that is. This is a really quick look at my TBR shelf. I will go through this in January. I'm going to do a TBR shelf tour. This is not on the shelf because I'm currently reading it. So over here I have mostly like new adult and stuff like that. So I have... <coughs> A bunch of Colleen Hoover. I think I'm missing Ugly Love. I put it somewhere and I don't know where it is now. Slammed, This Girl, Point of Retreat, Hopeless, Losing Hope, Maybe Someday, Maybe Not, November 9, It Ends With Us and Confess. And then I have Let's Get Textual by Tegan Hunter and Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is like no longer in alphabetical order. I attempted for a minute but it didn't work. On um, this one I have um, some more Jennifer L. Armentrout. As you can see, so I have Scorched, and then the like With You series, so Wait For You, Be With Me, Stay With Me, Fire In You, Fall With Me, Forever With You, and Trust In Me. And then <clears throat> my two Tamara Weber books, Easy and Breakable, On Dublin Street by Samantha Young, and Harder by Robin York. I need to get the other book in this series. Up here are the three Rebecca Donovan books, so... Um, Reason to Breathe, Barely Breathing, and Out of Breath. And then I have my, like, the start <laughs> of more Sabrina, Serena Bowen. And a little Zamboni from my college. This was the last Zamboni, by the way. They didn't, like, it was like a display Zamboni, and they were able to send it to my dad. Because I wanted one for Christmas. And my bookshelf has, like, has had this since I, like, bought it. I don't know. So I have, and most of these are signed by her, uh, so I got them from her website. So I have The Year We Fell Down, The Year We Hid Away, The Understatement of the Year, The Shameless Hour, and The Fifteenth Minute, which are all the Ivy Years books. And then Brooklyn Air, Overnight Sensation, and Superfan, which are the self-published Brooklyn Bruisers books. Um, the other ones are on my other shelf. And then the True North series, so we have Bittersweet, Steadfast, Keepsake, Bountiful, Speakeasy, and Fireworks. And then over here, I have uh, Moonlighter, which is one of her newer books. This is like a, it still takes place in the same world as all of these, but is a separate series. Him and Us by Serena Bowen and Al Kennedy, as well as Good Boy by Serena Bowen and Al Kennedy. And then my four abs collections of... Uh, the Deal, The Mistake, The Score, and The Goal, so the off-campus books by L. Kennedy. And I did get asked, I don't know if I ever responded to the comment, 
um, where I got these. Um, she did a sale at the beginning of the year and I believe there will be another sale later this year or at the beginning of next year, her assistant said. So, but these are not signed. I wasn't able to get them signed. They were just special. Um, and then is like my Krista and Becca Ritchie collection. Uh, so I have the Addicted series and these are all signed as well. So Addicted to You, Ricochet, Addicted for Now, Thrive, Addicted After All, Kiss the Sky, Fuel the Fire, Hot House Flower, and Long Way Down. And then Some Kind of Perfect, which is like the epilogue novel to that series. And then the first three Like Us books, so Damaged Like Us, Lever Like Us, and Alphas Like Us. I need to get the more recent books. I just want to buy them signed. They are available now, so I should be buying them in the new year. And then I have Amore, More and Infini. Highly recommend if you have not read them, especially if you read Krista and Becca, please give them a shot. Um, they're standalones, but they are connected um, stories. And those are both signed. And then, of course, The Raging Ones and The Last Hope. Unfortunately, not signed, but lovely books. <laughs> and I have a cat on me again. <clears throat> and then I have, like, the random sections, <laughs> I feel like. So I have, like, a Gail Carrier shelf. So I have the Finishing School series, which is Etiquette and Espionage, Curtsies and Conspiracies, Waistcoats and Weaponry, and Manners and Mutiny. My Parasol Protectorate series, and like I said, I'm currently rereading Changeless, so it's not here. Um, so I have Soulless, Blameless, Heartless, and Timeless. And then down here, I have more like what I would call adult fantasy reads. So I have Written in Red, Vision in Silver, and Marked in Flesh. I asked for the rest of the series for Christmas, and if I don't get it, I will probably just buy it. The Poison Study, I feel like, is often pitched as young adult, and I think it can be read by a young adult, but I think it's adult fantasy, so that's why I shelve it like this. So I have Poison Study, Magic Study, and Fire Study. Also, my library shelves it on the regular fantasy shelf, so. And then Theft of Swords, which is the first two books in the Ryuria Revelation series by Michael J. Sullivan. And then um, I have my six Bloodlines books by Rochelle Mead. Why do I keep these separate? I don't know, but I do. Uh, so that's Bloodlines, The Golden Lily, The Indigo Spell, The Fiery Heart, The Silver Shadows, and The Ruby Circle. And then I have a mess behind there. A uh, Curious Beginning by Diana Rayburn. It really does not want to focus on it. Um, and I just don't know where to put this right now. So it's sitting right there. The first two books in the paradox trilogy by rachel bach so fortune's pawn and honor's night i own the third one but it's on my tbr shelf and then down here is my like witchy and historical and random ellie carter collection <laughs> so i have demon glass hex hall and spellbound that is not the right order <laughs> by rachel hawkins uh, the Cahill Witch Chronicles, Born Wicked, Star Cursed, and Sister's Fate. I would also love to be able to go back to, like, displaying covers on my shelf. Like, I used to display Born Wicked, and I just, like, haven't been doing that lately, and I love it. So I would love that to be come back. Oh, that was hard. I would love that to come back. Um, Mortal Heart and Dark Triumph. Those aren't in the right order either. The second and third books in the His Fair Assassin series by Robin Lefevers. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. A Tyranny of Petticoats, which is a historical YA anthology edited by Jessica Spotswood. And then, like I said, my Allie Carter collection. She writes YA, um, generally fairly young YA, I would say. Uh, but I, her books are so different from, like, other stuff that I don't want to just classify them as contemporary. So they end up on this shelf. So I have her High Society series, High Society, Uncommon Criminals, and Perfect Scoundrels. And then in Out of Order, but because of the formatting, I put them this way. It's weird. Um, Gallagher Girls books. So they are I Tell You I Love You, But Then I'd Have to Kill You, Cross My Heart, and Hope to Spy, Don't Judge a Girl by Her Cover, Out of Sight, Out of Time, Only the Good Spy Young, and United We Spy. And then I have, I cannot remember what the series is called, but 
They are all fall down, see how they run, and take the key and lock her up. Oh, it's the Embassy Row series. So this is the last and probably like darkest, hardest to see shelf. Um, but it is like classics and children's books and then nonfiction. And it is a little overflowing. <laughs> so I have another edition of The Secret Garden. I have a graphic novel version of Pride and Prejudice, which I just shelf with my other Austins. Um, I have Persuasion, Northanger Abbey, and Pride and Prejudice. I do own Emma, but I'm currently reading it, so it's by my bed. And by currently reading, I mean sort of reading it. <laughs> um, the Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. My Tolkien collection. The Silmarillion, The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. And then... Uh, these are all from school, as are these. So then I have like a fairy tale section. So I have these two like fairy tale. They have fairy tales in them, but they also have like critical essays on them. So the great fairy tale tradition and the classic fairy tales. Murphy just knocked over a present. Um, these are extra books I have hanging around. Um... Uh, Hans Christian Andersen collection and a Grimm's collection and then oh I've been looking for this um this is Fables Legends in Exile this is a graphic novel I had to read it for class and I have maintained it this is actually yeah this has no private information on it this is a bind up from college of stories that I had to write I wrote one of the stories in here and I have another one from my Tolkien class, but I cannot find it. I keep looking for it. But I found this one. This bookshelf tour was good for something. <laughs> um, so then I have more like children's books, some of which are classics. So I have A Wrinkle in Time, the whole Narnia, and this was a box set. And they're not in the right number order, but in, they are in the correct Holly's suggested reading order. <laughs> um, so... Uh, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Horse and His Boy, The Silver Chair, The Magician's Nephew, and The Last Battle by C.S. Lewis. And then I have this collection of, um, Alice in Wonderland and Alice's, uh, or Through the Looking Glass, which my brother and sister-in-law got me, Murphy. Um, and then these are all, like, real legit children's books, so... Um, I think I've talked about this before. This is Carolina by Charlotte Steiner. It was my mom's growing up, and I love it. She read it to me a ton growing up. It's, like, falling apart, but I love it. Um, a, like, fictional or, a, like, a movie tie-in abbreviated Secret Garden. Um, two Jolly Postman books, which I highly recommend. Um, this is um, Wreck-It Ralph. It's, like, a tie-in thing. I don't remember why somebody gave that to me, but I do love that movie. I love Vanilla P. Um, a, my copy of Corduroy uh, by Don Freeman. I loved this book growing up. Um, my Harry Potter collection, which again, you can tell I did not care about <laughs> dusk jackets. So I have uh, Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, which is the one I've read, like, the most, so I'm surprised this one still has a cover. Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. And then I have this, actually, I have not read, but I put it on here anyways. I usually shelve my nonfiction anyways. And my battery's dying. Can I do this? I'm just going to, like, pan over my nonfiction so you can see it, because I have to go. But thank you so much for checking out this bookshelf tour and I will see you next time. Bye!